we're going to look at Gauss Jordan elimination <laughs> and convert a matrix into reduced row echelon form, which not only has zeros on the bottom or the lower triangle, but also has zeros on the upper triangle and ones down the diagonal of my coefficient matrix. So um, that's the goal, and we use our row operations to get to that. Gauss Jordan elimination is the process that we use to cre create or convert a matrix into this form called reduced row echelon form, where, for example, um, I get it into this form, zeros on the lower, ma uh, lower triangle, zeros on the upper triangle, one down the diagonal. Therefore, if I convert this back into um, system form, equation form, 1x is 3, I don't know why I wrote Z. 1x is Z, gives me straight my x, y, and z. 1x is 3, 1y is 4, and 1z is 5. I go straight to my solutions if I'm in this form. Okay, so I, I mean, if I'm going to go through the process, I might as well go all the way to reduce rush on the form. In my opinion, right, why, why go through the process and go back substitution? I might as well finish it off. And, but that's my opinion. But we need to know how to do both. So this is gauss jordan elimination, the process to create or convert a matrix into this form called reduced row echelon form, where I can go straight into my solution. So, again, I'm only allowed to use those three matrix operations, right? So let's create the augmented matrix for this. Um, it's already in the nice form. My x's, my y's, my z's, my equals, and my constants. So 3, 1, 2, 31 is my first um, equation. 1, 1, 2, 19 is my second. And 1, 3, 2, 25 is my third. And now I am in augmented matrix form. And my goal is to create reduced row echelon form. So... I'm going to do this again. I'm going to start by uh, creating zeros down here. Now, what I'm going to do is, because I want a 1 here, and if I divide everything or multiply this by 1 third, I'm going to get fractions. I'm going to go ahead and switch two rows. I'm allowed to do that, interchanging two rows. I'm going to interchange row 1 and row 2. So I'm putting row 1 where row 2 is and row 2 where row 1, where row, row one is. So 1, 1, 2, 19, 3, 1, 2, 31, and row 3 will stay where it is. And that is going to put a 1 in my uh, top left hand corner, which is where I want it to be. Because I'm going into reduced row echelon form, right? It's almost like I have to go into or through um, row echelon form to get to reduced row echelon form. So technically I'll show you how to do that again because I have to go through that process to get zeros on the lower triangle. Um, now, once I get a 1 in that upper left-hand corner, underneath it, I need zeros. But I can use this 1 to get zeros underneath it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do two things at the same time so I don't, you know, waste a lot of time here. I'm going to do a negative 3 row 1 plus row 2. And I'm going to do a, a negative row 1 plus row 3. So I'm doing two operations in the same thing. And I'm allowed to do that as long as I show what I'm doing. So row 1 is not changing. It's row 2 and row 3 that's changing. So let's look at um, row 2 first. I need to multiply row 1 by negative 3. Negative 3, negative 3, um, negative 6, and negative 57. And row 2, 3, 1, 2, 31. So I'm going to add these two together to get my new row 2. Right? So I'm doing negative 3 row 1 plus row 2, but this is the one that's changing. So 0, right? That's what I want. Negative 2 negative 4, um, and 26, negative 26. So that's actually nice. And I'll tell you why in a second. Let's put that in row 2 uh, spot. 0, negative 2, negative 4, negative 26. Um, let's change row 3. So I'm doing the opposite of row 1 plus row 3. So negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 19 is my opposite of row 1. I'm adding that to row 3. And I don't always write this on the side. You know, you get to where you could do it in your head or you could do it faster. Sometimes I write little notes on top, but it's preference. 0, 2, 0, and 6. That's nice, too. 0, 2, 0, and 6. So at least I got zeros underneath this one. 
So again, anytime I have the one here, I use that one to make zeros underneath it. Once I have that, I'm very close. I'm gonna make this a one. So to do that, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is take one half, or negative one half times row two. So only row two is changing. One, one, two, 19. Uh, row three is staying the same. Row two is going to become zero, one, negative one half times negative four is two, and negative one half times negative 26 is 13. So now, I mean, I'm getting there, right? I have a one and a one, and now I need a zero here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it even further than that, okay? So, show you what I mean. Because my goal is not just row echelon form. Why did I disappear? That was a zero. My goal is reduced row echelon form. And of course, always make sure that you copy it down. Reduced row echelon form. So I use this one to make everything in that column zeros. So I'm going to use this one to make everything in this column zeros. Okay? So remember, I want ones down the diagonal. This one is used to make everything underneath the zeros. This one is used to make everything above and below at zero. And then you'll see I'll use this one, if I get one, to make everything in its column zero. So now I'm going to use this guy to make everything in its column zero. So let's change row one. So all I need to do is take the opposite of row two and add it to row one. Row one is the one that's changing. So let me do that first. Um, let me show it on the side for you guys. So the opposite of row two, so one, row one is gonna be this, right? Row two is zero, negative one, negative two, negative 13. I'm adding the two together, right? One, zero, zero, hmm. and six. Again, this is my new row one. Row one becomes one, zero, zero, six. Row two is not changing, zero, one, two, 13. I want to also change row three while I'm at it. Let me do it in a different color. I want to make this a zero. So I'm gonna do the opposite, twice row two, and add it to row three. Now row three is gonna change. So row two times negative two, and row three added to that is going to become, let's see, <clears throat> zero, zero, negative four, um, and negative 32, nice. This is working out beautifully, you guys are not getting any fractions. This is my new row three, zero, zero, negative four, and negative 32. Here I am, very close to where I wanna be, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now change row three. Right, again, what's my goal? My goal is to get zeros here, and I'm getting them. My goal is to get zeros up here, and ones down the diagonal. I use this one to make zeros underneath it, or in its column. I use this one to make zeros in its column, and that's what I did with that last step, step with these two. And then I use the lower one to make zeros in its column. But I'm almost done, because this is zero already. I have to make this a one first, and then I can use it to make you know zeros in the rest of that column. But that's not hard. All I have to do is take negative one fourth and multiply it by row three. And I will get row one is not changing. Row two is not changing. Row three is negative one fourth of what it was. So zero, zero, one, and negative 32 times negative one fourth is eight, which is, like I said, nice. There's no fractions happening. This is a nice uh, matrix, a nice system. Let me take that into my. What the heck? Take that into my. Mix. All right, cool. I'm getting there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there, right? I need zeros here, but I also need zeros here, and I want ones down the diagonal. I got ones down the diagonal, but now I need to get this two and convert it into a zero because I want the upper triangle to also be zeros. I use this one to make zeros in its uh, in its column. I use this one to make zeros in its column, and I use my lower one here to make zeros in its column. So I'm gonna take negative row, um, uh, negative two times row three and add it to row two. So row two is the one that's changing. So zero, one, two, 13 is row two. Zero, zero, negative twice row three. Negative two, 
uh, and negative 16. And adding them together, I get 0, 1, 0, and negative 3. Again, row 2 is the one that's changing. Row 1 stays the same. Row 3 stays the same. Row 2 becomes this now. 0, 1, 0, negative 3, and ah. <laughs> say ah, because it's a long process. I am finally in reduced row echelon form, which is a wonderful form because now I can straight up say, well, x is 6, right? 1x plus 0y plus 0z. 1y is negative 3, and 1z is 8. And I have the solution to the system from reduced row echelon form.